Terry Crews, and Wood Spoonie here. Welcome to the second day of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. And now we're ready to join in on the other side of the train. It's Carlos Moore, the rematch in between of Team Butler against Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now this is what I'd really like to say. This is one of the better teams we've seen. Miami Heat beat against the Milwaukee Bucks. After this happened, it was the real game of the NBA playoffs. Giannis Antetokounmpo had to go into medical and he's out. Unfortunately, this one has no idea of what happened of how this one keeps on coming down. The one way that Jimmy Butler might have been going through, he's wanting to go for his own time and want to take the revenge on the Miami Heat to go back for a white playoff mode in games three and four. Well, this might be one change, but it cannot be denied if they have it all coming in down. As for right now, the next commentary I will have here is Son of Christ, and he's along with DJ Beast and Gangster Beast, and Ali the Force will be on the sideline as our show. Here are your starting lineups, as right now we have Terry Rozier the third, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Haywood Highsmith, and Fam on a bike. On the other side of the box, we have his Diamond Miller, Manny Beasley, Cross Middleton, Jonas Antetokounmpo, and Brooke Lopez. Now it's time to send you over to Pfizer.com. First game of day two starts now. It's playoff time. See you all later after the game. Here are the final votes here for the season five, as you have already missed it. Here are one of the best of the games, and with 2K TV Wild Moment, let's see who you have the most. Let's take a look and find out what they are. First object for letter A, it's Bron Bronze 077. He does with the victory win and goes with this half court shot and makes that one in. He just made that squat. All does turn to be one of the betters and just try to get that one in. Option B for the second one is Cena 231. Watch what he does now. He goes way deep and makes the half court on the other side. It's unlikely, but unlucky means lucky luck. You just made that one in there if you can. Your third option is DBX, Living Firm, Zone X. Now watch what he was doing here. He's trying to go for this, but the three-pointer catches it. He tries to go to finish the layup, and he goes a bounce pass behind him and does that. And your fourth option, all goes with Season 5, is the Caduce DZ2K. He does with the power and the motion to deflect it. Are you kidding? Boom! That's a bull! What a fire! It's all for you. You can choose any time of what your favorite vote is. 2K TV Wow Moment is your cover. And you can be the next one in Season 6. You will see what you can get right back in. Thanks for watching, and let's go to the game starting now. Feast you all yours. I'll see you all later for the post game. It's alive here at Milwaukee Sunset, and we're ready to bring things on with the first playoff matchup Miami Heat and the Bucks. Jimmy Butler wants to see what he can do if he can try to take all of his advantage and take with everything. Heat, Bucks, next after this. <laughs> Greetings folks, we are Pat Milwaukee for Pfizer Del Forum. Tonight's matchup as the Miami Heat take on against the Milwaukee Bucks here in, in the town that you mean the fearing the deer. I'm Son of Beast and I'm here with Gangsta Beast and DJ Beast and I will force in the sideline. The night's matchup is right in between of the ultimate favorite group of Chris Middleton and Jimmy Butler. Also we have as High Smith over with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Brooke Lopez is with Pam Adebayo. 
And Tyler Hero, he's along with, with another one coming getting to go with a likely inbound. And also with that one, he's ready to take things on and we are all set to go. Ready to start. And the win puts in for the Milwaukee Bucks. We start things up, all field and ready to go. As right now, Duncan Robinson is with me here on, um, you'll see in just a moment. Rook Lopez finds again to Lillard. Damian Lillard is on, is on, uh, is on Terry Rozier in third. And finally, we have it here across, it all close with Duncan Robinson on Malik Beasley. Now, Malik Beasley, I have nothing to hear about what they should say. But it's just the way that he's been doing it. Ever since then, if you can ever find him what you imagine for, Terry Rozier, after playing with the, the Charlotte Hornets, he may have had one all and come down. You know, it's not a lot to say, but I was just really hoping that there would be a lot of change on it. They can. The first drive goes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo with his first bucket. You know, Giannis Antetokounmpo might be flexing down, but if he does not get injured, let's find out what he did to do. The layup puts in here for Terry Rozier to third, as right now we just have it all tied up with the scoring jacks. And now here's Damian Lillard with a three. That point bucket doesn't go in that time. Bam on the bio with his second rebound of the night. And Highsmith has the bound. Now we'll give it over to Adebayo now again to Butler. Butler now swings to Rozier. Rozier on the drive. Oh, what a take here as Rozier has the second bucket. Well, Rozier has a lot of him to take all this time. And I wouldn't be able to be finding it out if Rozier had it all down. I just really have nothing else to go with, but uh, you got it all quite in there, it's just what you do. I just really have to lie, lie to mention you. A lot of great players have a great try. Yeah, they do say, have it all, come down. Now he's to pass to Highsmith, up a shot. Tough shot release over on the Kupo as Highsmith skies first bucket. Keep an attack, or keep it coming down. The Wild doesn't make, make it off. On the Kupo, on the slam the ball. That's the monster slam dunker down, and that one starts things off. Oh, you have to know the freaker. That hold up moment, just show it where you can slam it. Now the pass to Butler. Butler swings again to Rogier and now finds Robinson. Robinson now finds the Butler. Trying to look over with the screen for Highsmith. Shoots it on a combo. Highsmith will have it back. Fade a shot, now finding Rozier to third. Three for Butler. Good! On the outside of Middleton, he makes his first three-pointer. It's what no one knows because Jimmy Butler had it all whipping down. All you say is, no joke, get that one all you can. On the football, lost the ball, got a piece of it from Highsmith. Here on the fast break, here comes on a bio. A tough shot makes it in as Adebayo has his first bucket after Butler with the assist. Oh, just really have to be like that. No one can outrule the smart up heads up play. Does take all time. And Lopez now finds Lillard. Making his way down, looking for more room on a combo up, he makes a drive. And this one happened to me on February 13th with the loss against Miami Heat. You may have remembered this one here before in the playoffs. If you've watched it before, as you take the rewind back in the Eastern Conference Finals, there was no other way to be to have it all slipping out. You know, that's because with the old dude that, that Miami Heat been really trying to push in. I have no other confident feelings, but that one does not happen to be what they can. And they do not want to let them leave them out, because if something happens, they never want to leave here. Three for Rozier. Good on the outside over Damian Lillard. He has seven points in the game. And now looking for the way to try to catch him up. Lillard. Go for three. First three-pointer can't hit the mark. That square is not a hard take. You don't want to take that one too far. If something doesn't work fully right for you, try again. You don't want to get that one here caught up at the right moment. Now pass again to High Smith. High Smith trying to look over with the two. And he makes that shot over on the Bumbo. Oh, High Smith's doing really good right now at that game. Since he's coming in with the trade off here. I haven't really been playing with in between, but wanting to go with in between if he gets more buckets in the first game of the playoffs. 
Beasley up with the two. A layup unable to connect as Duncan Robinson with his first rebound. Now he gives the game to Butler. Butler to attack the rim. And it goes in and makes the drive. Five points for Jimmy Butler. It's down 18 to 6 run. The score's not working. I don't know what they're gonna do because they really are not even always like settling it up for all the time. They've gotta take some breaks out there. I mean they gotta get that one done. Time out call by the box. So you'll have the toppings over again with just under three minutes to go. Now I was talking of which one here, I was saying that there is a new contract that's coming in, and you know who? The never tall guy from the Celtics. And this might be one of the best. Um, I don't know, actually. Do you, you got any idea with the fact? No, I actually don't think so. Well, here's the thing now. Because one of them does it all, and he's been accomplishing, and I think he's ready for the next level. You know who? Zach Eddy. A Canadian basketball player from Purdue University, about to be drafted here for the Boston Celtics at the start of next season. Oh, he's been really dumping it up. For the NBA draft pick in Detroit, getting ready to settle things up, and I'm thinking that he's ready to take all his time, ready for the next level. Let's bring it on now. I mean, they're getting a lot of it to go from here. As I told you before, Doc Rivers is a new replacement head coach from Mike Budenholzer for the Milwaukee Bucks. He's been talking to one of his uh, teams and he's trying to get that one hard on the fast run. The pace doesn't go off with the worth time. But all it does say now for Doc Rivers, he has it all clearing it up. Here with the new substitution as Gallinari checks in. Now coming in with a play in for four players as we take a look at the status for opposing points of the team for the season. 108.4 was the, was the coverage they took. They're in third place. You know, offensive is not always, they can't really have that one out settling in there. They really like to keep that one keep going in and out. Sliding it back. Trying to take the steal. Moving in toward the middle with the drive, and it's off the rim, and first foul calls on Miami Heat. Caleb Martin is first. Oh, that's no way to do that one difference here. If Patrick Beverly would have to go with that way of drive, he would have taken all that time. Don't let that one keep on losing it. First free throw coming up for Milwaukee Bucks with 2.40 to go in the first period. Knocks the first free throw in. Now to say about Patrick Beverly, after playing with the 76ers, he didn't really think that his next generation didn't come up that strong. He really have to say is that there's no team I haven't just really been practicing for. I mean, that was nowhere I can't do. I've got to figure another way out if I can help that team lead up the point mark. You know, it's not always the worthwhile and because of Patrick Beverly, he's been really like keeping it off. It's a big moment that nobody really can't do. Like, it's, a, it's just nowhere to look. You're never going to get that one easier enough if you don't have that one coming in. Yeah, the veteran foul just happened to be out there. It's the same thing that they can do. And there's an offensive foul called on Miami Heat. Terry Rozier turns it over. And a point status for Damian Lillard. Oh, he's been a better one. That's my man from the All-Star MVP. Looking for a post game to get on the run. Here's a one for Crowder. On the dunk. Great pass by Patrick Beverly. They're back down by eight. Leave it up to beat here. And now he gets it over to Martin. Tyler Hero on a secondary lineup looking for his point. The first three goes up and good. Tyler Hero with his first three-pointer of the night. Oh, you just really have to be like that all alone. They feel like silence the crowd. Here comes the three. Yeah, Nori, what a cutting bound over Hawkins Jr. Now here's another take here for Rogier. He gives off to Hawkins. Hawkins never ever been able to play with the playoff team. After playing with the UCLA, he's now ready to take his on with his first time playing with his team in the playoffs. You know, that's because of what he gets to do. He really has never been playing it before in the postseason. 
after the Pac-12 tournament. That had to be one of them, and in your March Madness, it really had to be all like you're curling it up. It's just nowhere to be here. I really have a good feeling about it for him, but just let him go. What can you do? Hawk is shooting fighting for the rebound. Now has it over to get to Crowder again to Beverly. Beverly on a screen by Crowder. Five to shoot. Three for Portis Jr. And a first, first three-pointer can at the mark. Jamie Hawkins Jr. with his first rebound got one. Hawkins trying to slow it down with 45 seconds. He tries to give it off to off to Jovic, but it was taken over. Hawkins Jr. up for the three. Attempted, but it misses off the wide open left. Back on to with his first rebound. Now we'll have it over to Porter Jr. Here's the drive. In it goes as Porter Jr. has a number two point for percentage range. Well, that's to be on there coming down. Not what you really care for. No one can stop now. Now he has it over to get the hero. Hero stops the corner. Comes past to Jovic. Jovic now again to Hero for the two, and good! Tyler Hero with seven points with ten seconds. Final second in the first. Beverly, up for two. Rebound for Porter Schooner, he goes up, and it doesn't hit the bar. And it's the first quarter, a 25-14 score starts for Miami Heat. We'll have a quick break, and we'll get back to your court soon as enough. Just coming to be in, looking for a good lead, crowd leisure score, and there's another room for opener. Open look, open gap, feel the power. Welcome back to Milwaukee as we're all starting in for the second period. We got you live action here at Pfizer.com. Speaking of in between, as Giannis Antetokounmpo will sit out, Jimmy Butler have to knock all of everything down right in between the three pointers and the two. This really was not what he was the most of the valuable of the player that he had ever been done to accommodate these goals. You got ever in between, you may never know what you can definitely do. What will this next be? Well, the second it'll be, it have to be like all you have to do. The better of the taker is not what it seems to be like it's an impossible take. But all you can say now is never leave a deal. Jimmy Butler sidestepping the three. Oh man, he's way not good. Hot streak for Jimmy Butler with eight points. And he's been going right in between the targets. Just keep that one coming, you will never get it done. Jimmy Lillard unable to make the three. Well, it's harmful now because what they do is is not what you can't just make threes and it would work. The possibility is not what you want to do. And now here's another one. As the shot has been turned over, here's Middleton on the fast break. Oh, what a jam down for Chris Middleton. And on the group over with the assist. Oh, they really love that one. They want the crowd to make the pleaser. Just make that one call for them. Butler, raging for another three. Another missed by the Miami Heat. Middleton, finding out a good luck. Finding and attacking. Great D by Jimmy Butler. Now we have it again. Hero finds a pass to Wright. Right now again to Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Moves around inside. Oh, he made up and in there clear. Jimmy Butler with 10 points. Oh, he's not the crazy guy. He's been always keeping it out for some reason. And you know what, Jimmy Butler just really don't have the right time to do this. Well, it's just a lot of hard ways. Don't let that one happen to get you pulled over if you're really up for the mind for your own. And right to finish the drive, he counts it in one. Jimmy Lillard has paused with the foul, and they will stop the clock with 6.08 to go. Now that's what the one drive does. Dion Wright just had a moment with the finish drive. He made an excellent one. Just got to give him credit to it. Tyler Viewers checked out as Nesmith is checked back in. Sorry, Highsmith. And now with one shot left for Dion Wright. And it will hit the free throw down. Now the next timeout call by Milwaukee Bucks. Past the minute mark here in the second period. 
as Doc Rivers will talk at things over again. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. And by AT&T. Connecting changes everything. With some live action here as we have some tickets going on here if you're in Chicago. We still got you covered here as we have a lot of tickets in between. If you are riding aiming to Chicago, Illinois for the BFDI and MSA tour, so you can catch on one now, right here on the go. Or if you're in Los Angeles, you can also check that one out here on the other side of it by visiting the website animesandy.com slash tickets. Tickets in each variable seats will be giving you the best price right in between if you're using the app. Right in between, it will save you a lot much time and you can reserve your seats. Plus the VIP tickets are also available here right down from each selections of the day. As we look over to Damian Lillard, he has gotten in close, third place with 8.9 points. You know, not what they really do, because Damian Lillard really had to make that one hard maintain on his pressure. It's not what the Ranger does do at all, but all you can never say is, not the well provable you get, but doesn't help you all take some time. And he makes the three-pointer. Another one here, and that will start for Malik Beasley. And right now finds Robinson. Robinson. Looks again to Highland. Highsmith. Swings it over. Pass broken up by Brooke Lopez. And out of Kubo, going to slam it down. Here he goes. Beasley for two. It's good. Rage it in and he makes the three. As an R1 put it for out of Kubo. Oh, that's smart move. <laughs> that makes him feel good. And now Wright puts it in again to Robinson. Robinson now finds again to Wright and now gives to Highsmith. Highsmith. Back again to Wright. Six on the shot clock. Dampin Robinson up for the two. And that one missed again as Damian Lillard have another rebound. Oh, they can't be missing like this. Whatever happens, you've got a problem. Don't make that one too uncomfortable. We have a corporate alley, of course. He's talked, she talked with Doc Rivers before of how well the team has been doing for regular season. But the problem with that one, facing against Miami Heat, gotten pretty rough again, and so do Toronto Raptors. Well, that's what they don't really pay attention to. That's what happens, they got in pretty bad shape already. They don't really care about it about anybody. They really gotta get forward and they gotta get it done. That's what they can't do. They can't leave that ball below. And he makes a two-pointer. Jimmy Butler hits it up one again. And he now has 12 points. Milwaukee trailing a bit off behind as Bam Adebayo trying to recover it. Lillard for two. Mix it in. And that one puts another two-pointer for Milwaukee. Now their first time off call will be Miami Heat with under four minutes remaining. You know, it's just what they get. They don't really think they we would pressure it up for some reason. I care that that happen if there isn't a way to get that one supported. Not even when they call it for anybody, they don't leave that one unrevealed. And that's when they can't leave to mess someone up. As for the call, as we're nearing down to a two-minute mark, we have a halftime show coming up as we've got Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Chuck O'Neill for the best play drives in between the highlights of the first and second period, right in between. And these are one of them, so you don't want to miss that one out, right in between, after the first half has been completed. Some new changes for the offense as right now Yulich is checked back in. Or on a bio as right now he's on the on the bench. We'll see what he does if he stays alive in the game. Milwaukee Bucks also brought Brooke Lopez out and something in with the Boris Jr. Robinson. 
Here's a three for Highsmith, and he got the key. Duncan Robinson with another assist, and he has seven points. Well, they say what Duncan Robinson does. That is going to lead to a great pressurize, make that feel good and comfortable. And number two for Chris Middleton. Ducks it up again. And this one is now a 38-26 game as they trail by 12. Butler gives it again to Highsmith. Highsmith gives it again right to right. He now finds Jovich to go over Portis. It's good. Jovich has his first bucket in after the assist. Now he has his first bucket major appearance. Here's Bobby Portis. Oh, what a dunk meant to jam in. And it was for Dave. Who could say that again? And Damian Lillard got a great pass. Oh, you would be proud of them. Go slam it down. Now Butler has one. Now has it over to Gator Robinson. Now again to Highsmith. Highsmith trying to go back over again to right. Four on a shot clock. Here's Butler over Middleton. And hit off the rim. Oh, he's missing too much anyway. Butler tries to, but he didn't really want to match that one. But Beasley for three. Misses again on the outside. And Butler, he's going to be all alone now. Beating Militant up to drive it and scoops it in. He has 14 points. And it's Icebit with the assist. Two minutes remaining in the first half of the period. As now Damian Miller trying to give off to right. Three for Miller and good. Another splashdown for the Bucks as they're trying to step back in. Well, you would say that Damian Lillard would be happy enough that you'd know it. Right away. Robinson, up for three. Tries to pull a rebound. Another miss by Miami. And Butler. Middleton, up. Trying to stop on Butler. Oh, what a cut play from Middleton. Oh, I think he got that one lucky enough. That's what you do to try to make that one slow down. Time out called by the Miami Heat with under 90 seconds to go in the second period. You know, they don't do really well often right now. They can't leave that one coming in, and this was nowhere timing. They don't leave that one pressuring. They can't let that happen if they do it again. Placing it in for Highsmith as he will move it over right over across here as Rozier, Dero Martin, and Hawkins Jr. Four players are checked out, four players checked in. Gallinari, Crowder, Connaughton, and Beverly are checked in. Nearing a final minute remaining in the second period, Kyle and Martin to try to deliver it. Hawkins Jr. unable to take the rebound. Back Connaughton with his second rebound. Here's another take. Rolls it off in the middle. And a back skip makes it in for Pat Connaughton. Now it's a 42-35 game. Now he's over again to Hero. Hero now swings it off to Rogier. Rogier for three. No good connection here for another three-point triple range. And now over now to Beverly. Gives off to Connaughton, back stepper, a great team by Caleb Martin, no foul call on Miami. Well, that Miami got a clean look at but you clean looking over and done it once more. Now he finds Hero. Hero swings again to Martin for three. It's good, the range outside delivers it again. They're cut up the extension up by 10 with 14 seconds. And Beverly have that one over across on Terry Rozier. Now have it to Portis Jr. Gallinari up to Hawkins Jr. The screen 
up to the two, and rebound puts it. And that ends in the first half. 45 to 35 is the score, and they're up by 10. Time to head you down to Ali the Force on the sideline. Hey, Ali. Thanks, I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. I know you cannot be happy with this team's play in the first half. What will you tell them they need to improve on? The score and our effort and our offense, they're just playing harder, they're more physical, they're tougher. Honestly, we're very lucky right now. Lots to improve on in the second half. Thanks, Coach. All right, Ali, thank you. Stand by for the halftime show. We'll be back with you after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us. But you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He had 14 points, two assists, and one rebound. Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? The way they're shooting in from deep, they're going to be hard to beat. This team has a lot of confidence and lets them fly without hesitation. Defensively, you have to force them off their spots, make them put the ball in. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? Well, the effort hasn't been there in terms of rebounding the ball. They're getting outworked in that part of the game. But you've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks, Thanks for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we welcome you back here at Pfizer.forum for the start of the third quarter. As we look over here right towards Jimmy Butler, he's on fire now for the first half. Well, he's been looking at going big right now. I would say Jimmy Butler is like the greatest. If you call for one of them, just give him some credit time. I would say that he's like a big star. Give him all the fat, and I would just say, yeah, I mean, you never just see what's going to happen like that. It's just like a, it's a good way to just keep an eye on it. We start off with the second half, ready to fuel up. As right now, we have Damian Lillard, he's our rookie here. Then Middleton on Butler. And across here, we have Smelly Beasley on Duncan Robinson. Then it's Brooke Lopez, he's with Bam on the bio. And lastly, it's I Smith on Anakuka. Take a look at Terry Rougier. He has 50. His three-pointer percentage. He's in second place. Well, just good timing right now. I mean, good to be in second place. Just go with your good three-pointers. I mean, just keep practicing if you can. Here's a try. Oh! What a monster down! Jazz out of the pimple saying, how are you? Oh, what do you know? A moha moment! That's what I just saw that one go here. What a terrific play. And that was the Greek Freak Slam Dunk. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now he finds Robinson. Bounce pass to Anabayo. He's over Lopez. Good team defensive effort as Bonnie de Kumpo has got one. Now he finds the Beasley. Beasley can't lose the ball and that one lays it up in. A 45 to 39. Oh, just really got to keep on scoring if they can't get there. Robinson all alone, and he's fouled by Beasley. That's his first personal, and her first team foul for Milwaukee Bucks. Well, that's no way that the Kale looked up with a happened behind. They are not really happy, and they do not really want that to go right from here. They don't want that one messed up. Duncan Robinson at the free throw line, shooting two, just passing a minute. For the third. He hits the first three pointer. As you say what Duncan Robinson does, he might have his all with his perfect blur angler and he just made that one a lot harder to maintain it. Scores not more worth it. Because Duncan Robinson has really been keeping training it as purposely he does. He does for his work, but not for him everyone does have the point. Well, you know what Duncan Robinson can really say is, he never really had that one done possible enough if he gets that one over to face it off. The critic challenge. It happens to be, you know what, it can never be happened like that at all. If you want to get it through, just show what you can. Boss loose by Terry Bouchier. 
Now he has it now again to Duncan Robinson. Robinson now gives again to Rogier. Butler on the triple range. Another three puts in for Jimmy Butler. He has 17. Extended now at 50, 35, 39 game, up by 11. Now he finds again a Lopez again to Ana de Kumpa. Highsmith on the cover, screen on Brooke Lopez. He's still on, Brooke Lopez for three. This is the three point range outside, and another Highsmith rebound, he's as number four. Now he's Rogier. He'll have his own time. Now give off to Butler. Decide to take the drive, and he does. He has 19 points. Try to go over it as Rogier the third takes the assist. Well, just really keep on coming there, and you know. And foul picked up by Terry Rogier. That'll be their first personal foul and the first team foul. As for out of the force, talk to Eric Spolstra. What right here he has called for Jimmy Butler. His excellent take for on a smooth look. The pickoff play may have it all coming in, but you may never guess what he does. Well, the same that goes with the last postseason. He's just really been like a, a dominant pressure. You may have it all maintained if you want to get that one what you want it to. Jimmy Butler is like a star. Give him credit. Makes the first free throw as right now Chris Middleton has really wanted to keep his dynamic duo with Giannis Antetokounmpo and try to look for him if he does for more. He hits the second free throw. Time out call by Miami with under six minutes to remain. As that one, we'll take that one a quick break and we'll get back into you soon. I'll just say that, I mean, really what you want is how, what you, how do you want? Make that one feel more aggressive. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Starry Limes. Next time I'm with you for tomorrow for to, later tonight, as you will have the another matchup as the Boston Celtics take on against the 76ers at Boston in Massachusetts. Follow along with the next game as this will be another one for tomorrow night, tomorrow later tonight at 10 p.m. That will be the Golden State Warriors facing out against the Denver Nuggets a mile high. That will be right on your way on the other side of the court coming up after each games. Now here comes Rozier, now he finds the Robinson. Robinson gives a go-ahead look to Heisman. To dig pass it over to Robinson, the two. And it goes in with a number two. That one takes the spill, but not for long. He has another one taken over. Oh, that one you have to know about that. That one you can't get away with that. And there's no questions to stop for. Fouls the ball on Terry Rozier, and another personal foul will be on Miami Heat. Now, you can't really say Damian Lillard, he's just been really like a, like a good person. I mean, you just gotta go with that one, you gotta make that one slip it in there, I mean, don't get that one uncomfortable. Free throw line coming up for the Milwaukee Bucks, that's now as Damian Lillard at the free throw line, shooting two. down the first free throw. He always call at that point when, when he ever does say it before and when he gets the three pointers. You know what he usually says? It's Damien time. Oh yeah, they always do say about that. I mean, I, I've got to like, I have a, something to say about it, but uh, but all it goes with the fact, I mean, I, I have nothing else to go with, but, um, but not even ever literally. They really kept on coming. I mean, not always what you want to go with. Kept on coming and down. 
Now we see here now finds again the doctor to Dr. Robinson. He now finds Anabaya. Over Lopez, the drive won't finish in. He now finds Lillard for two. And that will hit it in the sinking floor. It's Damien showing will wipe up and what you gonna do. Oh, what are you gonna do when they come for you? It's Damien. Oh man, they never just saw that one coming like that. You would be cute with us. He now finds past the butler. Books, books again, the high step. Sets on the shot clock. Robinson up, the two. Knocking it over, and it's off the rim, not back to Anakubo. Here's Middleton on Butler. Butler trying to watch it in. Knock the ball loose. Lopez holds on. Anakubo up. Ball shot over Butler. In your face is Brooke Lopez with the, with the assist. He has 10. No, that's what you do. You want a revenge like that? Okay, give me some more. Butler trying to scale the floor and now finding Bougier. Has it over now to Van Matavaya. Over Lopez. Tough shot, but it misses again. And here's Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard up again. On a shot. What a tough make. And this one, no foul called on Miami. Well, if he would have challenged that one, he would have been out there. Bush here trying to give off to Robinson. Inside the middle, he scores. Robinson does it again. That's his third bucket. And they have 56 to 47. Well, now we do the big game to give him a, a work required. The lane doesn't unplug him. He can't really have that one all tickled up behind one again. Smith in the corner now having again to knock to Duncan Robinson. And Butler. Trying to dish out from the corner, and good! Butler on fire! 21 points over Giannis on the Kumbo, 10 points. Now I say that Damian Lillard, I would say Jimmy Butler's that great. He got it all coming. Oh, wow, wow. Do you ever see that? That wild moment that you give a try? That's when you know Damian Lillard just keeps firing up. Oh yeah, you can do now. Do so later. Sorry. No ice. <laughs> my. That is the big drive I've ever seen. Time out called by Miami. They have three timeouts left to remain. And after that, they'll be finished. as right now both players are checked in, both teams are checked out, as all five players are checked out, all five players checked in. Right, Hero Martin, Kakesh Jr. and Jovic are checked in. And as for the Bucks, four, there are two players checked out as Beverly and Crowder are checked in. Martin, Orion Akumbo, and what a great solid stop for Giannis on Akumbo. Here he comes right toward the middle, and a finish drive puts up. On the Kumbo, this guy and another three, two pointers to go. His field goal range is now 60 in the third quarter. Well, the break out, they got to fire it up. Make that one stop if you got to make them go with the floor. Right off by it's Hero. Hero gives again. Martin for the deep three. And that misses another one. Crowder with another rebound. That will have it over. Just two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Beverly against Wright. Crowder have it over on Hero. Look in the middle. The solid D puts up. And he does it again. Jovic just got his second rebound. Now has it again to Hawkins Jr. Hawkins Jr. up. Solid performance D for Giannis Anacupo. 90 seconds in the third period. 
bounce up the jumper, and a layup, and the jumper will be left off. Now give again to Wright with 120 to go. Trying to find it in to a tackle. Martin now finds Wright. Wright, up for two. And once again, no pointer make in for Miami. Well, they're losing that one. That's nowhere to look. That one can't get that one hopeful if there is no way to get that corner and down. That's what they can't not let it get away with this. They gotta stop one. And a try put in for Patrick Beverly. With under a minute to go, as Beverly has an arm one. That's what they just say, the score drive makes that one go right in between the legs. That zone may not be what you're looking at. Hero gives again to Calabria. Right, on the outside. Trying to give again to Hero. The sidestepper. That doesn't go in. Beverly not finding Lillard. Lillard trying to go with the attack. On a jumper to put the rebound. It's no good. Jovic, again, he's all alone. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho. That's a high fire for Callum Martin. Slam it down. And he hushes the crowd. It's now a 16 to 53 game. And Akis Jr. will finish it up. He was fouled. As the guy on the Kubo makes his first personal foul and his second team foul. Oh, but they can't let that happen. That complaint from Doc Rivers didn't really see that one coming in. And I thought Hawkins Jr. would have made that one to finish up with the drive. They never really wanted to get it. Hawkins Jr. at the free throw line shooting to with 5.7 seconds in the third period. He makes the first free throw. Now with some new line substitution. As now as three players are checking in, Anakubo shut down. He will have to rest it up again. And now, with Gallinari Porch Jr., Beverly and Connett inject in. One shot left for Jared with J Jamie Hawkins Jr. And he will hit the second free throw for Hawkins Jr. Beverly finding now to Porch Jr. And shot doesn't go in. As he has that one, finally dug it in. And I will close the game with the third quarter. It's a 62-55 game. Close call now, but it looks like that. Maybe the Bucks. they want to smoke it out, answer it back, and win the game to go home. Victory win, it doesn't always stand a chance if you dug it all. Four quarters coming up next, right after the break. You're watching the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm assistive game. You know, I was really was incredible to make that one feel like it's a good chain on. Whenever you say no and you get the pass over again, that pass to you on right does have it all. But that one keeps on shucking him down and then for a moment, it might happen more than anyone. And we've come down to the final quarter. I hope you're having a blast time for the first game. Because right now we're ready to punch down to the second game in just a moment. And here's a start. Patrick Beverly will finish off with the drive as they're coming down, down with a 62 to 57 lead. Here's a pass to Robinson. We'll throw her again to Hero. Hero makes his way down back to Rogia. The three for Robinson. And another miss by Miami. Oh, I think the bowler really wanted to help that one out. Tom not to go with the three pointers. They can't let that one go in. In, in the corner, on a bio, over Portis. Back stepper, and jumper go! There, moving it down closer, and now here's Hero. He finds down to Rogier. Rogier now gives again to Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero to finish the arc. Oh, what a shot for Tyler Hero. He has nine points this game. He's insane and no, I'm sorry for a moment. That never has to be cleaned out when he does. And number one puts in, goes up, 
Great stop by Bam on the bottom. Well, that's what you're doing. But the stronger defense it goes, the harder it goes down to keep that one struggle it up. And Hero gives it again to, to Mr. Robinson. Hero, that ball stolen by Gallinari. Here he comes. Damian Lillard. Slide step number two. And good! Back down by three. Ranging to tie or take the two points behind. Now here's Malabayo to finish his drive. Oh, what a make here for Bam Malabayo. He has done it again as Rocio makes the assist. Now how many times can you do that one with, with Bam Malabayo to make the layup drive? That's what no one has done. Possible enough to do that one on your own. You may ever make that one clear if you get that done. Bobby Boy Jr. All right, Bam on the bio, five on the shot clock. Holding it to the end, and a layup scoops it. Bobby Boris Jr. does it more again, another defensive breakdown from Miami. Well, it's not really coming along that well. Possibly enough, you don't, you don't have another one to. Hero. Rochia, bounce pass to Robinson. Overhead pass to Butler. Upward two. Once again, no shot made for Jimmy Butler. Oh, Jimmy Butler is getting tired at it right now. I mean, he hated it at all that he can't do, but that one really don't have enough to go from here. Another miss comes up by Milwaukee with five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Now have it over to get a Rogier. Three for Hero. Deep range doesn't stand in. And now here's Milton. Finds a pass to Vila Bellinari. Beverly. Passing out of Portis Jr. He goes up. Oh, no foul was called on Miami. This one got pretty, really, really rough. But no foul call here for Miami. As that was clean. Well, they would have to challenge that one. I'm sorry, but if there's a problem, you've got to help me out what to stop with. And it's up with the shot, and he's fouled. Bobby Porter's shooter with his first personal foul. 4 17 to go in the fourth quarter. It's a 66 63 game. Now, with the free throw line coming in, will be for Miami, as he will add another free throw to increase the lead up again by, by five. Adebayo missed the first free throw. On for a new substitutional change. As now as Miami will bring again Highsmith back in. Tyler Hero is checked out as Robinson moves over to shooting guard and Butler in his small four. Four players are checked out. Adekubo, Lopez, Beasley, and Lillard are checked in. And he missed the second. Oh, he's missing that one out there. I think he, he didn't make the first free throw. I think he was trying to recover it, but he cannot be losing it all ever again. Well, I'll say for now for himself. That's what they always can't leave a make or miss. On a Cooper, not by Middleton. And on a bio on him to take the arc. And they were missed by Milwaukee. They're shooting like they're not even picking up the right moment, but it's no way that they can never let that happen or slow that thing down. Rozier, upper number three, and he misses again. On a Kupo getting a rebound. Now along. Oh, what a take on flyer. The floor down, it's a hard floor, Angel. What you gotta do? You fly a unicorn to the freak. That freaking drive. Freaking moment, what can you do with that? Robinson now finding again to Butler. Butler spins it up for the two, and he misses again. Now it's a chance to take the lead. Middleton trying to look over it. Three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. To take the lead. Oh! 
and it's on Highsmith. That will be his first foul, and another team foul by Miami. Oh, what they can't do now is they can't be slacking it over. They don't really like that call. They got to get rid of that one. Free throw coming up for Chris Middleton with only under three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And now he's trying to get a first attempt to tie this game. The shot makes it in. He's stuck it in right now. He's really wanting to eager to make that one lead. Well, if he does now, get two. You know the chance. And he makes the second free throw. Timeout call by Miami Heat with under three minutes remaining. All does stand alone. The Miami Heat struggling it in, but the Bucks are striking back in. It looks like they wanted to start things off on the first game of the night. Roading on the trip, do it again. Yes, they do. Just keep it steady. What you've got. The eye of a Greek man, he just really makes it one feel like he's aggressive. Take to show his pride, he muscles his way down low towards the end of the nearing the sideline of the base. He has that one keeping on coming in, and he does more than once. Yeah, I really love that one. Whenever the play comes in, Anakubo does it all. Yes, yes, Rozier. Throw it out there at all. To Robinson. Robinson now finally was here. Give it again to Highsmith. Fade the shot. Here's on a bio. It's denied by the Kupo. Now he's another take for Damian Lewis. With the screen on Lopez. Here's the take. Damian Lillard does it again. That one keeps on striding down. Just really pressure. All does make sense now. Really make it what we want to get it in. Robinson trying to fill it out a little bit. High Smith on out of Kubo. Bounce pass on a bio. With a step in bound. No take here. Brooke Lopez takes it over as Damian Lillard has it all. Lillard trying to look over it again. Side checking. What will he do? Watching in. To put a step in bound. Cut and drive. It's good! Damian Lillard is a superstar. 15 points in the game. Really can't make that one feel now. Now you did. Adebayo trying to hold back. Now find Rochie to curve. Butler trying to look for some more room. Butler over Middleton. Good. Butler has 23 points. Trying to keep the game alive without slowing down. He's trying to be over Middleton by 12. And the fans are going loud. Here in the final minute remaining in the period. Middleton for two. Missed this, takes it back, and he's fouled! Sherry Butler with his first personal. And their second team foul for Miami. Cuts it up. And they're bringing it all to recruit it back. And they are just coming into winning. Well, you never get that one easy enough because Giannis and the Kupu really have that one flying in. This is nowhere to take. That he's really eager to take all with his free throw accomplishment. Does that again, and that point range does it all. Now our trail trip for the free throw line will be for Milwaukee Bucks with a minute and two to go. Giannis Antetokounmpo ready to take his chance. Yeah. 
takes the first free throw. You know, I say it because of Giannis on the Kupo. That free free can't leave him alone. It puts it behind to make that all work on the count. And he missed that first one. So Butler will have his ball back. And he's all wide open. Look, Duncan Robinson, no! And they all collect the clock, wind down, as Ida Kubo will take his drive up for two. Missed again. They really wanted to get this one done, but they are really running out of time right now. I mean, they gotta do it, or they're gonna get paid off. Robinson now finds Butler. Butler, swinging around. And dunk it again! Jimmy Butler with 25 with 30 seconds. Well, they need to close that one out because if you don't get a foul, they can't let that one go in. Ah, uh, Kupo swinging it in. It's good! Oh, the Kupo showing its pride off. Timeout call off by Miami. chance here they were just getting it and doing it and kicking off the ducks. We'll say now easier making sight says it all. You know that Giannis on the Cooper really does it all. He gets that way with a great three pointer. Sometimes he says if it's no way for me I'm never injured again. I can stay alive at all that cost. I can just really can't make that one call that one for now as you will be just making saying that this doesn't happen to me like that. Now, for the star of that one here, I have a question for, for the post-game show, as I give it off to Terry Crews and Wood Spoonie. Well, it's definitely for them. I have a lot of them to take home in this one here. Since they got the post-game show coming up, that will be happening here after the first game is over. To big turnover, they are losing that one, and that's it. It's over. Go home, go back to game two. They have, they have a possession to take the foul for the Miami Heat, and it's now at 21.6 seconds as they now have their bonus of increasement for the Bucks. He knocks down the first free throw. What Malik Beasley done, you give it all what you have down. Hits it off again. Miami trying by six. Jimmy Butler side is sent it over to Rozier. And now Butler swing up for two. And I will take it in there as he has 27 points. All for our trackers, and he's fouled by Damian Lillard. Well, they just have to know now because Terry Rozier, he's almost out of luck, and he will be fouled out as soon as he can. Damian Lillard. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first free throw. And he makes the second. Time takes down with 10 seconds. Jimmy Butler to go attacking. And that will took it all. He has 29 points.
And that's going to wrap it up here in Milwaukee. Duncan Robinson with his second personal, and it'll be a last group substitution for all teams with 3.8 seconds. Take a break, take a break, two shots. Makes the first free throw for Malik Beasley. And he doesn't hit the second. And a time, hit the half court. No, that's it. So that ends up with Milwaukee Bucks, 79 to 74. A close game for the first game, but it definitely did see Giannis returns on the court with the Bucks against the Heat in the playoffs. Well deserved to play to win and dug it all for best. And as of right now, no time now for Ali LaForce. Sadly, it's time to go home, as we like to thank everyone who was watching for this game. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. With me and my crew, Gangsta and DJ Beast, I'm Son of Beast, and you've been watching the first game of the Playoffs. Good night, everybody. Alright, Son of Beast, thank you so much. With the first game completion here, as the Bucks rally up to start with the first game. As right now, here are the total statistics. It was a great list of statistics. 31 field goal range over again the are on the team. Then it was 35% for Miami Heat for three-pointers. 88 for Milwaukee Bucks for the free throws. Fast break points with 8 and 44 points in the paint was Milwaukee Bucks. Six chance points was Miami Heat. Then it was 22 for Milwaukee Bucks. Only 22 turned to be the air away from Miami Heat. Six on the Bucks on the offensive rebounds over five. And 28 offensive rebounds for the Miami Heat. They were up in the lead in the early first half, but it seemed like it kicked it off in the second half. Yes, indeed they do, but not what they realized, but they've gotten it pretty tough to go far from home. Then it was three steals for Milwaukee Bucks, one block for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Then it was one turnover, 14 fouls on Milwaukee Bucks, seven dunks had made. Just a course of Antetokounmpo, and of course Bobby Portis Jr. too. 17 biggest lead for Miami Heat. 17.52 for time possession for Miami Heat. And that is going to change everything. Well, I hope that did turn out right. I mean, just a great first guy of it is. And it's time for the three star players of the game. With Spoonie on you. All right, thank you. Third star, I'm starting things off here as I give a credit to Giannis Antetokounmpo. He only had eight with 10 rebounds, three assists, and one steal. And that block over Bam on the bio made that one good. He only had 17 points and he only had air 12 field goals, no three pointers, well only three dunks was made, and 24 performance effort. Really suffering from the detail, but that's what your new balance player of the game does. Keep that one out of here to make it go. Second star goes to Damian Leonard with 17 points, two rebounds, five assists, six out of fifteen field goals, one three pointer was made, twenty-seven performance effort, and one dunk. Well, that's all you can definitely call for now. You get that one a good credit. I'm for your first star player of the game. Not really the New Balance player of the game, but Jimmy Butler. 27 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and had 13 out of 19 field goals. He had made 3 3 pointers, only 33 performance effort. He does it all. And that's how you can definitely handle the Butler pressure. Well deserved, but we'll be back for second game. And that's going to wrap it up for the first game. I hope you and all enjoyed yourself for the first game. If you're ready for tonight's game, we've got the Celtics and the Sixers. But coming up later will be the Timberwolves facing against the Phoenix Suns. And with that one being said, as Ali LaForce, we got that one off. But it turns to be like no time has called. So that's it right now. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs dial. This is Terry Crews and with Spoonie, we'll see you back with a second game. Until next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.